And we believe this is not your last celebration. This celebration will be a long road with you throughout your life and your children. As we celebrate you today as people, this will not be our own last celebration. Amen. Lord, you are going to bless us. Be with us in everything that God will be doing. As we will make this day, we people will witness us also in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Yes, As you bring them safely, you will take them back safely. Yeah. We that are here, O oh Lord, let your blessing, your favor, be with us in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Jesus, mighty name. Amen. Thank you very much for your respect. I'm chairman of the division. First of all, I think it's good to welcome you to the PS. Distinguished Professor of Ecotoxicology and Government of Forensic. Fellow of the Institute of Nigeria and the Book Science. Fellow of the Nigerian Labor Society. Fellow of the Solar Energy Society of Nigeria. The West African Society of Toxicology. From a Federal Director of the National Center for Energy and Environment, under the Energy Commission of Nigeria, two times the Vice Chancellor of the University of Nigeria. This is the Professor of Lancaster University, Director of the University of Nigeria. A member of the African Human Science Research and Innovation Council, ASLO. The Vice Chancellor of Professor Valentin and she takes a point. It's good to have a problem. The representative of the Deputy Governor of the United States, Honorable Zimri Michel Margaros, is good to have a problem. Deputy Vice Chancellor of the United States University of Okada. Professor Mrs. Tibura of Mosefe of the GDU. Professor Kainz and Development Economics, Federal Institute of Policy Management, Policy and Management Development, Federal Center for African American Research Studies, and also member of the Economics Society in the United States, Professor Mrs. Tibura of Mosefe of the GDU. Our distinguished celebrant of today, Ambassador Master Ogua, the Master, Distinguished Associate Grand Ambassador, and Director of the New Ministry of the University of Who is here with his elected wife, Mrs. I. I. Mokosa. Masters in Master and Master of Thank you very much. The University Registrar and Secretary to the Council, Mr. Friday, the Juba Kari Register, Federal Chapter Institute of Administrator, the University Bossa, Mr. Emmanuel Lusa Emmanuel, Federal Institute of Chapter and Chapter of Nigeria, FCCCI. The University of Nigeria, Dr. Lawrence Jackie, and Mr. Lamy, our distinguished guest speakers at today's event. It's my pleasure to recognize Professor Parkins Ayako Rama, head of the Department of Theatre Arts, University of Africa, to look for the Bayesa State. I want to please to recognize. 
all the way from the university of Joss, Professor Irene Isoke, and Louis, Professor of African Drama, Jenna, We also have Brandy Talon, founder, CEO, Brandy Talon Group in the United States. She is joining us live on this program via Zoom.
And I gave my say, please uh, to me a private and industry and Canadian settlements. It is something that all plans to the best things and it's a development and stating practice and action are giving a number of industry and are they a point of settlement puts a group and then the walls of this type of grounds in Britain have received that bullets, both the head and the tongue. Oh, yes. <laughs> if you look at the now printing patterns, Ramsar is credited with the honor of having directed more and more really novel and actors award than any other director in Nigeria. It's getting worse, like it's a world, a revolution, and too numerous to mention, and they speak volumes. At the Pioneer Graduate University in Nigeria, established in 1999, with three years old at State Council, I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. I this university has the same commitment to academic excellence, scholarship, and desire to repeat our graduates to the tools of survival. For example, our money will be projected all the world, functionally under the auspices of the Eastern Academy, in a function of the Middle East, fits into the field. And it's well positioned to enhance the skill and position of the general department of our great university, as well as other really departments to create and cover up a niche for themselves through this example program. The fifth, the Division Academy, founded the beautiful lesson of our celebrant today. Has received over 50 local and international awards. <laughs> In the US, we sent them to my international film festival finally to get to title Depression in 2019. <laughs> and also, the film festival. Finest best of the entire story 2020. Let me see this and gentlemen. As part of my excitement for today, it may interest you to know that for 25 years now, this creative acting that we celebrate today remains an accomplished movie maker. And director of the Excellent. And crowned in this university, the living legend. Yes. As the first candidate in the way of the student field of the so much success, I will be going to the room. You will all have to be that for a man who has given so much to the society by way of affecting the lives of individuals and productively making a man in the No amount of recognition or honor is going to 
will keep it. Therefore, a consonance with gratitude to Almighty God. The video request is honoring this living video, this icon of the creative world, this man of honor whose work speaks well, this opponent and intelligent artist of our generation. There are dancers and dancers and it is our positive prayer. So the creative voice of God continue to build. And in your future endeavors, the stars will continue to shine. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I join the head of the Department of State Arts to welcome you so much to this collection in honor of NASA. We are going to take the citation of the speakers. First of all, after that, we will introduce the team of the program. We will speak. We shall have interaction. I will have a response to my celebration. Thank you. Now, to begin the citation on the, the citation of the guest papers, it is my pleasure to invite the University Orator Professor George Zebua to present the citation. Why are those men already going to start with the book and the books? To be honest, I are very respected books. I will be sorry. I will be sorry. Professor Irene is something, Bunlui, Akunlui, Li or Roxaide, is a lady of dual prestige. Not only has she distinguished herself as a playwright and screen writer, rising steadily to the top, she has also distinguished herself as an astute academic, sorting and sorting her way to the Pinaco Academic as a professor of Africa drama, gender and women and female, gender, women and female studies. This is a born international affairs professor, was a primary coordinator of American College, University of South where she has been lecturing for the past 21 years. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it's interesting to me. Uh, this professor of South at the end of 22 years, while serving her father and her mother, while she uh, came. 
Professor Atkinson, was a Senator James Williams Fulbright Scholar at the University of California, Los Angeles. Los Angeles. <laughs> and a part of the International University that you follow, Leadership Foundation. Indeed, a doctoral fellowship afforded her the opportunity to train in Harvard Business School, Harvard University and Massachusetts, Institute Business School, Singapore, and Hong Kong. These academic PSS has continuously made as a strong gender activist, particularly in the academic and as a resource consultant in various gender development institutes and poverty alleviation and then child education program. Professor Irene is okay. I wonder if the other proud of the Rosario is a recipe of reception, including the Rockefeller reception. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me put on record that our distinguished professor was one of the consultants that wrote the Independent National Electoral Commission Gender Policy in 2004. He was a father of the daughter of the National Academy of Music. Let me give the distinguished ladies and gentlemen to take you a certain with our professor. I think so. Is a baby with thoughts and brains. Or how else I want to stay? Or how else I want to stay has came to her present heights. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Sweet Little and Gentleman, I think I have to give you a moment to request at the appropriate time for a lady or something to give a lecture in the room. Thank you. The next presentation is for the records. I have been teaching in the university for 41 years. Thank you very much. In the same way, I have respectfully invited our very dear professor. Ayako Roma, the head of the Department of Theatre at the University of Africa, to stand up for the citation. Professor Barclay, for me, Ayako Roma, was born on February 13, 1956, in an Ajuman town, Sahara, in the of the He attended and St. Edna's College, now Abaru, Abaru Grammar School, all in Abaru Delta Tech. Directed at the University of Alabama, Nigeria, graduating with a second class upper division. This was followed with a master's degree from the University of Alabama in theater and a doctorate degree from the University of Alabama in Houston. Please come back. He had a stint at Professor J.P. Clark, Benedetta Moon, B.C. Repertory Theatre, Lagos in 1985, working with River State Television, RSTV, Channel 2 Theatre, Kotaka, between 1986 and 1980, very 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 such as Operation Supervisor, Pedro Cole, and Ed Moon, and Was a lecturer in the Department of Theatre at the University of Kentucky. He was a consultant in the Living Care Nigeria Foundation, where he pioneered the Vaisa Community Theatre Program. His collaboration with Ariko, Ariko produced three collections collection of film. He also collaborated with Ariko. Professor Emmanuel and Master of the Department of Theatre at the University of Ottawa to handle the FPP3 Enlightenment campaign to drama under the consultancy of FNF, FENF, play, Master Tony F, which is so as being performed in many communities in Biota and Africa. 
and the rest of the And this is the person. I am the one. It's an author of many things that has studied, that is studied well in many higher institutions in Nigeria. Over 30 published articles and books to his credit. He gave the author of the groundbreaking trade in knowledge book, a study of selected dead. Two of his years, a matter of honor and a count of his years, as a direct record of the Bible State Teacher of the Book. Why did the Dead Ones direct for one of the players a chance to survive and not have to do the second? Prior to 2003, edition of the AN of the night, NDDC, JP Club, Price for Town. Professor, Professor Ayala Roman has been appointed to the international due to the of Marvel and a recipe of several awards, among which are FIC Merit Award State and Abra State in 1983, Lifetime Achievement Award by the Society of Nigeria Theatre Arts, 2001 and more. Oh, a yeah. uh, respected professor, a professor in the Department of Theatre and Cultural Studies, the Department of Africa, to rule on the Indian is married to his lovely wife, the Indian pastor, the Indian administrator, and they are married to the Indian pastor. She is a Indian pastor. She is a I'm going to was the lecture of the They will just feel that uh, they can just come. The last one of the list of this is uh, fast. Yes. Uh, I need your card. I don't want to do that. If you fail, you remain fail. Brandy Powell, a lady of software, is best known to have not come back at the Sydney Mindset Bridge. A strong woman of character, dedicated to the family at the time of the year. I have a master in the profession of training and bachelor of applied science in organizational leadership. He also attended a seminar college of art and science and has a master of fine art with specialization in entertainment art, film and television between 2006 and 2013. Women in Human Education at Lancaster School, which is the present year, and the current CEO of Brandon Halon Group International, ECG International, which includes the following companies Home Broker, International Real Estate and Development, Nolly Batch Production, the area of Life Foundation, Quarialis Marketing and Sports Education, and the Young Enterprise Across the World. In practice, Brandy Collins is a member of the Women at the Women of Atlanta, as stated earlier, the National Association of Reactor and International Federation of Women, SDN. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, they are also part of the Women of This is the Women of Atlanta. This is the Women of Thank you, Mr. Director. Mr.
Hello, you didn't need me the attendant people. Where are you now? I'm there, let's go now. Okay. Okay. Let me go to my office and bring it. You can submit it to the meeting. Let me bring it now. Okay, you can bring it now. I'm in hope to do it. All right. Okay. This laptop. I want to appreciate the vice chancellor who was my classmate. Her name disappeared. It's only maybe from 2007 
six to seven and seven, you know, started hearing about um, <coughs> about Alice, Alice, guy, um, Blanche. She was the first person to start the dream in 1896. But her head disappeared because her hands were not properly stored. So we are looking at these things today that sit us not today the person. But what about 50 years from 60 years from who is going to tell us? So we need to do that. Please, if you can create if you can create a way in which these things will be stored to be very well. So and um, first of all, start with the introduction of saying that I actually wanted to, because of this archive, I actually wanted to start to study about three, three of the things like uh, this one, uh, the king's um, bathroom, and then the lady. But I ended up because I couldn't find at this one all the time. So I ended up being really at the lady and for me, that the lady is so special. I like all these things, but for me, that I told you it's pleasant. It's in relation to it myself. That's the So, and the way makes also a wonderful thing because there's what they call the body, the sorry, body now. Nah. It was it was not passed to what they call the major test. That is, it was not more than one woman in the field who is talking about. No, he was not talking about a man, but talking about something that had the way that could be that anywhere in the world. Because she's not talking about God, she's not talking about much or experiment, but she's talking about transforming the society. So and that is what every society has a special advantages and it differs from place to place. Some of these practices are detrimental to our health, psychology, social well-being, but <laughs> so, so you know it so it affects women and girls. We have written more often there is something that has been made for you know, we have to know how to consider, and it has been shaped and designed by culture. From the main perspective. So, the content of films is shaped by the culture and specific natural resources of the countries from which they come from. So, most of the things you see in the films, they have to do with our culture, they are reflected, they are built upon our culture. Culture influences the mental, psychological, emotional, and social development. So, let me talk about that. Yes, the film we consume. Two is particular representations and the and those necessarily affect the development of their views of things that they do the way they react and so on and so forth. In Nigeria, certain fundamental practices, no matter how well intentioned, poses a threat to the empowerment of the They are so many, like you know, uh, less digital education. Uh, video practices, so many practices. And this is, I'll tell you, I was involved in a story that was in 1996 or so. And in this study, we were to find that cultural practices harmful to men and women. And sincerely, there was more harmful to men. <laughs> they were all harmful to women. And one of them is the major one of them is also to women. So because of that, our national government, civil society, and so on and so forth, they've been trying to <coughs> respond to the current dynamics of potential cultural revolution. And so in recent time, many filmmakers are not trying to push the bottom of knowledge on these areas like that's trying to come up with things that we're writing people about cultural practices. That we can do something about. This is where that's the famous lesson of the cultural revival and state transformation and transformation becomes important and pertinent. Mm -hmm. has become an important component of African culture and its utilization of cultural and 
You notice it's got to its simple parts of the core. It's so young, it's also simple. And one thing that we want to talk about that actually, that I like about that thing, if you watch it, when I was in, a, in film school, we were taught that there are, you know, there are 12 mystic structures of the play, and every play follows those structures. And that is what it did in the day, and it's so exciting. I will just take a hand with that so that when you watch it, you know that is true. The first one is the ordinary world that is registered for her ordinary world was you know, 20. And the second one is a call to adventure. She was now called to adventure to come and do to go and then the nurse actually was the one in the Then the refusal of the call, she refused the call. Then meeting with the mentor, for me that's the most important. And in all, um, and in all Astor's place, there were always mentors. Like the king, the battle of the king, she had two mentors. One was her auntie, was that her baby name? I forgot to have it. Then the second one, her this one. And these mentors, these mentors, they are always there to advise, to energize, to to spot on, like, but at that, if not for the nurse, as a way they will not have gone in that kind of direction. And feeling the position with that state continued. So, and then uh, the other ones are crossing on the threshold, says allies and enemies, and approach to the inner spot, the, the ordeal, the reward, the program, the resurrection. And the one I also love the is the return with the Eliezer. That is my best. And she really did return with the Eliza. I just returned with the Eliza. When she came back, the king, for a king to reveal something that he has said, they, they've given her and they've banished her to call a woman back and to reveal who makes the position. That's the Eliza. That's the Eliza. It's only funny for me. I want to ask you, Jason, did Characters come from complicated characters. And we try to balance his character. Like you see, I'm not the chief. One boss did not agree with the others. I think Chief did not agree with the others. But I'm not the women. We also had this woman who said, eh. So you want us not to sleep with our husbands. If my husband come and talk me once, I say, second time, I say, he talked second time, I say, he talked time, I will give him. You know, so she was the one opposing the others. So he does this kind of things to uh, to to balance up. So uh, costume and makeup. So most of the costumes were in compliance with the Christian tradition. Some that most is go very. In fact, the first time I watched it, I cried. Just listening to it, just listening to it, it's so emotional. It's emotional. Location was located in the Utuwe, the natural landscape that is well protected in the area shops and the shops. Then the permanent analysis of the space. Once I demonstrate for me, we have to be centered issues. Which is the environment that we have here? Which is the most important space? It's not that's on the side of women. That's why I wanted to go with wife. For me to keep supporting women. So, okay, in China, in the traditional culture of women and women, we not just show that social change is inevitable in any society. We are okay for a constructive and a contemporary construction. Historically, it's the thing that passes through this story. What the master is telling us is that culture is man made. And since it's man made, it can be deconstructed and reconstructed. You know, and that's what, because people in the village are saying that, oh, this edge here is made from God, and therefore we cannot change it. But later, they discovered the genetic doctor told them that this is not made for you, but the solution is within you, it's within your society. You can
I'm looking for part two to sort it out. So I better go to my side so I can take my time. And I show this one to a cultural practice is that So what I want to do, I just want to put that I soon be able to I want to do that given sanitary issues that actually are stayed in this uh in this field. First of all I talked about I said that I told you about the reconstruction tradition. How does it reconstruct tradition? And the same thing also like actually is not trying to destroy the ocean by empowering them in the space. No, but what it wants to do is to be already a new thing and to stimulate the society to become active agents of change. The women must become actors promoting and protecting the government. If also need to be women as active agents of change, they are trying to redefine their tradition and culture in such a way that becomes relevant to the present realities. And come to think of what is the relevance of this opposition? My sense is that was precise. I don't see I don't see any difference between both of us. So what is the use, you know? So the it's good that we do a bit of such traditions in our time. So another one is that this strategic practices in Africa Women are subjected to oppressive and demonizing cultural practices. Tradition is separated in the very start of the identity, but this is the form of protection by the women. So, many people in the field, the cultural practices are many presented without intervention. The directors would rather allow their characters to die in order to prove that the is supreme. We find it in many of them, many of them. In many wonderful things. Then, from the woman is male child preference. This is the thing we should be wanting to do. Remember that either way they, either way they had two male children, one died at death, the senior one was eaten uh, by his little And so she does, and the mother in law was making so much fun and asking her to have another child. But what she, what she, the husband stood up to say, I am the man, it's not what my mother said. That's transformation. No when the man will be the one who will say, Go have a baby, go outside to go and have a baby child because I, I, I have a person who said, I can't do it. I must have a male child. And the baby will have a male child. All that will be a very male child. And that male child is not what they want to do. So, if you have girls, please, my brothers, be very, very satisfied, be happy. I'm a woman, I'm, I, I'm a woman, I have brothers, but I'm a woman, my mother had four children, four daughters of my father. And I can say that you don't pass the money in my way. Invest in them. Invest in them. If I need money today, I will go to my son. My daughter, I want all that I've seen as a son. That's the reason. I'm afraid. So, so, the society is in the room. And the women are confronted with this challenge. Then she's compared by tradition. The women are very challenging. But the one that is most interesting that I'm sure most of you, especially the men, always say women are their own enemies. Women like the men they are fighting with women. So that is what I call woman to woman oppression. Often because of that child, because that's the way society has formed the woman to so always. Society has socialized the woman to so always prefer the man to the woman. So I said, although well, feminist speech is always remain silent about women oppressing their women. People have to learn that in many African societies, women are as oppressive agents to other women, especially as old white mother in law, stepmother. This is often the act of institutionalized hierarchical female spaces that make women victims and protagonists. 
by one. So, then we call it human genital mutilation. That is, after my presentation, the practice of death, the fairies are all for we all that it is the hour that we say that the man is going to the public of this course so that the man will come to the kings so that she will learn the running man to circumcise the boots to the boots of the kids. So that is not that. So many women are not actually going to be the cause of circumcision. The other women in the evening is the one I see not being called the circumcision. Though it has led to the death of many young children and our grandchildren said to me, in that period, seven children were sent for dilatation. Only three returned, the other four died from the evil day of circumcision. And one other woman was right, she said she has lost four children, and one other woman, her only daughter, died. So we will say that is a good tradition, and that's what that's for the question to start in society. Is that a good tradition? So here we see the moment we need to go there in the nation of people who are the people of the nation of culture. And the other thing is that we see the culture as strength, as basic, and the source of that. That was how the mother was semantic revolution of the world. Language is powerful. And so language is used to socialize the people that the woman is inferior and the man is superior. And also, the same language is used to sustain, you know, they say, this common woman, who she is. There's a proverb in Chief language that says, a woman is a woman is as unreliable as slippers. The slippers will talk on the way, and you cannot use that slippers to a woman. So, so that's how we like the woman is. Women are gossips. Women gossip. Women, uh, they, can't, they can never keep secrets. They tell lies. Like, they are this, they are wicked, they are all. Very many women are women. And it's not with our brothers. In between, there's a no part that says, I don't know what you want to make it. This is very wrong. Oh, they are all right, man. Then collective action. The 
the action, you know, tell the world because Mama Nos was a mentor. And Mama Nos encouraged her that if you do not get up and speak, if you do not get up and, and take action, your only child will actually die from being in the same position. And so she went ahead with this collective action with her friends, all the women supporting her. They all agreed that they would not go back home. And there was no reversal. The men just started washing plates, tearing my own, and they were not the importance of their wives. <laughs> So what is the way forward? I said, the way forward, like we have all said, the Vice Chancellor Lord met him when he was talking about that. We should create room for a society in which all genders are totally migrated and mutually humanized. Also, we use the cultural and national transformation. It is a crucial campaign for the education of cultural practices. Promoting social transformation as we dance all time through traditional practices. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. For the presentation, you can see the presentation. I will not do synopsis on this and we are finished with our reminder. But just to let you know that in the course of our presentation, we have to accept this. Last thoughts to me. This is my life. The person is a word. And the answer is the brand. That's what has four gates. And what has the dear last word to the vice chancellor? The vice chancellor has three gates. <laughs> That's just a decision. It will be going to remain because this rendition from this presentation is really the crux of today's meeting. This is the whole And if you look at you get different perspectives of the same thing. Let's see from the parents rendition from that. We think that uh, the Vice Chancellor, DBC, and Sister Professor Agui, and the celebrants, Ambassador Lancelot Ujua. The master, I call it LOI. So if you see LOI in my presentation, that's the person I'm referring to. The representative of the deputy governor here presents. Let me specially recognize His Excellency, the President of the Rector's Guild of Nigeria. I insist that a president is a president. 
So if you call the president of Nigeria His Excellency, <laughs> then my TGM president is His Excellency. <laughs> I've seen Osra Ellis and Tony is here. Osra, okay, okay. I recognize you. And of course, Dr. Jami Kwana, who is here with uh, me. And he tells me that uh, his daughter is a final year student of this great university. <laughs> no. You know, we don't we like lawyers in our family. <laughs> lawyers, lawyers, doctors, engineers. We have this thing of family, then you can stand anywhere to do it. That's the job for you. Uh, Vice Chancellor, sir, I bring you greetings from my own Vice Chancellor, Professor Kingston Yamafeni, and the Principal Officers of the uh, University of Africa. From uh, we are a young university, just into the fourth year. So I'm sure most of you may not have heard about the university. But what I show you that uh, we are coming up very, very fast. My presentation is Cultural Revival through the Spring, Lancelot, Oduba, Massens, Philip Statements. On my office, just a uh, started slide. No, just uh, start this slide so that I can. Uh, okay, thank you. Now, Okay, no problem. Just if it's what I did, the slides are time so everything will work out very Now, what was that for this very uh, when uh, Lancelot requested that I come for the program, I couldn't, uh, you know, say no because we have come a very long way. Uh, the focus of my pre presentation is the of culture, as reflected in the themes of Lancelot's master. Who has distinguished himself as a filmmaker. And those of us who lectured him, we are very proud of him. That's why I called his works words on Mango as far as knowledge is concerned. So we are going to look at uh, some of uh, his works, we have uh, technical problem, but if everything is what I have done, we will have problem. So we are going to look at uh, some space, but then I, 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 I want to look briefly at the concept of culture. Now, when we hear the term culture, people think something fetish. You know, some churches, you know, oh, everything culture is fetish, masculine, and so on. That is the thinking as far as culture is concerned. But we have to realize that culture is the totality of the way of life of our people. The way I am dressed now, nobody needs to ask where I come from. <laughs> Because of my interest, this is resource control. <laughs> so it's clear the kind of food you eat, the kind of dressing, the language you speak, the, the houses. You know, uh, Professor Salami, uh, I don't know, you mentioned something about breakfast. 
Because we go to Bentley State, the houses you see, we call, you know, we call them the uh, family channel O. Nobody tells you that this is a TV map. That is the culture. If you go to our own place, our own means of transportation is canoe. Don't get canoe, you have your paddle. You've got, uh, you know, uh, palm tree, palm fruits. You go out fishing. These are all part of our culture. And these are the things that distinguish one group of persons from the other. Some of you see our Africanis, or that new government uh, delicacy. If you go to get a such, that is their own delicacy, and people come and throw it, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> that is not job for you. So we are, we are looking at uh, last month's production contextually. You know that what? Under what circumstances? And we produce this phase. The, the, the production context determines the kind of thing that we will produce. For those of us that are, are, are familiar with knowledge, you know very well that in 1992, before 1992, we had television dramas here and there. And by 1992, when living in public was produced, an industry developed. And that industry was, you know, initiated not by government, not by you know, uh, the federal government, but by a group of traders, spare part dealers, video film sellers, who found a way of utilizing, you know, their, their, their uh, empty tapes to, to, to duplicate things for sale. And that has become a business. I you know in Nigeria, we we love the bandwagon approach. If anybody does something that succeeds, everybody will go there. So as of now, the movie industry is not only theater artists. Many doctors, lawyers, engineers leave their their field and go into uh, film production. You know, I'm happy the PC did not uh, follow that. <laughs> <laughs> so we are looking at it from a contextual point of view, how the industry emerged and how people like Lancelot have made a name in the industry. Now, like I mentioned in my, in my, in my work, Lancelot is a song in whom we are well pleased. And in the course of my work, in my, in my writing, I have written on many of his films, at least six of them. At least six of them published. I'm, I'm not talking about ordinary presentation like this. I've published in international uh, journals and so on, because I specialize in film studies. And uh, at least I would say that my book, Trends in Nollywood, you can just uh, Google it and you get it, is the most authoritative work on the Nigerian film industry. And in that book, I studied the Sakaba series, the Master School. There are chapters in that very book. You can get it on my habit of, you know, because of Munyoko Akibriria, we are not even able to reprint. But when the Munyoko Akibriria is over, <laughs> we are going to reprint. <laughs> uh, so, in my study, I mentioned the aspect of culture. Culture has two components material and you know, immaterial, or tangible and intangible. The tangible ones are the ones you can see and you can touch and feel. Fufu, all of us can touch fufu. Eba, all of us can touch crayfish. I don't know the delicacies in Benin, Bole, all those ones. These are the tangible things, the dress, the hats, whatever. These are the tangible aspects of culture. But the intangible world, the idea, the knowledge, the belief system, the value system, these are things that are intangible. 
For example, the man is what we are praying on. If you say you get grace in the presence of an old man, especially when she is eating, the food is spoiled. <laughs> So if any old man or woman is punishing you always, when they want to eat, they pretend to fight near her and say you can fix. That is not good for you. I say you can mark the food not for <laughs> And in the course of my investment, you know, I, I unfortunately struggle with But let me assure you, soft copy of my presentation will be the uh, uh, PowerPoint and the MS will be the ability. So, everyone, any person who get a strong one, even if you want. Uh, as clear as uh, you would uh, want it. So, language, presence, music, dances, types of building, occupational distribution, marriage, you know, uh, mode of work, worship, all these are part of our culture and they will distinguish us from, you know, other people. The house of our dresses and enters them, you know, that the person is distinct from. Uh, from you as an individual. And I mentioned the fact that culture is not static. It evolves. You know, it reinvents itself. In those days, French suits were very popular in Nigeria, but now we call them cinnamon. No more that French suit, you know, that you have landed inside and you are sweating. <laughs> but now, the senator, very trendy. You know, uh, Dr. Jackie is very good. The start of the day, I see it. It's a great friendship. And there is a whole version of suits with great sports that they are wearing. That is the work culture that is working. So now I look at culture in those days. And what we are now is, I try to make some comparison. Parents celebrate children's wealth nowadays. In those days, parents were short of wealth. Am I right? Yes. Now, they give testimony in church as to, you know, my son has made it in more than G1. But in those days, parents will have how to do things this morning. So they were not celebrating. Nobody in the public, nobody now, nobody questions the source of wealth of uh, people. But in those days, everybody questioned the source of uh, such wealth. How did he make it? He went to Lagos three months ago and he's talking about a millionaire. How did he make it? That is the, 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 the difference between what we have now and what it, it used to do. In those days, women will uh, display their wealth out there, and they will not bother leaving them you know, for sale. Somebody from a mother who they sell to buy you from inside. They will not come out. Am I talking to someone? There is a lot to buy you for five hundred naira. Ah, not in two. No, there will be eventually say four hundred naira. The, the person who carried that this thing and dropped the money on the street. That money will remain there. Nobody will keep it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that was culture. I'm trying to compare what was happening. The only things we learned to steal, if you want to do that way, are the Fanta, Cola, and so on, sugar biscuits that they put for shrines. <laughs> 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 so that is culture for you. You 
can see, I, I, I don't have the time to go to everything. However, now talking about faith and culture, every faith is led in social, political, cultural, economic, uh, philosophical, you know, uh, life of the people. If you look at American faith, it reflects America. Hello? You will not, I, I, I tell people in American war faith in those days, you can never see America being defeated. If one soldier, if one Marine is behind enemy line, America is ready to sacrifice 100 Marines to go and save that person. That is the American dream. They reflect that. Are you following me? So, um, we realize that children imbibe certain cultures, mostly from foreign media. I always, you know, most times my children, even if on the road, I see you, your headphone in your ear, and you are, I, I will tell you to remove it. Or you go and take a pair of jeans, take scissors, tear this, and you now come and wear it. No way. Wherever I see you, you are in trouble. Are you following? These are foreign cultures. Even in jeans, we are talking about prisoners' wear that we are now using to now, you know, flank ourselves. Now, in other words, what I'm trying to say is that free as a, as a medium is very, very powerful. And that is why apartheid South Africa did not allow television until after apartheid was, was dismantled, because they know the power of faith. And of course, we know very well that social media platforms that come and things can go anywhere. We've just seen uh, our co presenter, you know, in the US, we have seen her, she's hearing us, we you know, that kind of That is the power of the media. And I mentioned that, uh, you know, when we know of what is happening, Twitter saga in Nigeria now, that is to tell you the power of, uh, you know, uh, this platform. Now, things have universal appeal and impact, and they can arise above language, limitation, and cultural barriers. Whether your mother understands English or not, African Magic Channel one night two, she will watch the things and tell you what, what happened in the things. Am I correct? That is because they convey exactly the same meaning. The, the, the shots you see is, you know, uh, very, very personal. And that's why all wrote and says, good things are dangerous because of their instantaneous impact on the minds and emotions of the world's citizens. Whatever story you, 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 you tell, that is what the people will, uh, 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 the message will get. Now, things are not produced in a vacuum. That is where the context I'm talking about coming. But what we need to put under the global context. And I'm happy to realize, as we say, uh, you know, let me give uh, you know, credit to the DC because he said everything about large culture, a good background for a contribution of large culture to knowledge. And let me now. That last stop is the first person to initiate cross border production. I mean, collaborating stakeholders with foreign countries to produce fame. So, the person we are celebrating started that very movement. I want to congratulate you. Now, you know that when you are producing a film, you want to uh, you take an issue, you want to emphasize the issue, you want to correct an impression, you want to think in, in a proper perspective, you want to put, you know, uh, promote the evil culture, and so on. So, Nollywood is not an exception. And this is reflected in the works of Francois. In Madison, these works are deeply rooted culturally and socially. And they protect the way of life of Nigerians and also tell stories of Nigeria's past. And of course, I am 
mentioned that this was a cultural product aimed at engendering Nigeria's cultural and economic development. I have posited that perhaps, apart from football, nothing stakeholders are number one cultural ambassadors. Uh, incidentally, Professor Akule uh, mentioned the, the area of my time. When I was doing my PhD work, I got living in death and living in London in South Africa. I got to Sakaba in, in Kenya, I wrote in Kenya, because they were not available here. So these fees I had to source in Cape Town when spending was uh, you know, on. And I stated in my book that the shelf life of an average Nigerian movie is four weeks. Mm -hmm. The shelf life of a Nigerian movie is four weeks. Once when they run out, after four weeks, go to the, the, the video map and say, I want to buy it better. You will not see it. That is because our shelf life is very, very you know, short. And the, 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 the context of uh, distribution needs to be prevented. Well, I hope we are aware that uh, UNESCO, by the last rating, 2014 or thereabout, rated uh, Nollywood as the second largest film industry in the world. In terms, in terms of production quantity, not quality, because we are still. So in this presentation, I'm going to, you know, just briefly look at five of its phases. First is Sakaba, second of the master school, third private scene, uh, fourth co-pilexa, and the master is division in the mindset, the deposition of the last African king. Now, we all know that it's definitely the Bakasi boys that are coming in the game. They are already back, not that they are coming in the The Sakaba is based on the dead Bakasi boys because of what they were doing. And the thing, you know, looks at their activities, not in a negative sense, but from the perspective of the failure of the policing system in Nigeria and the right of vigilantism, that is where I have some of that suggestion. Now, the Bakasi boys have been involved in the Philippines, and of course, they terrorized the entire city in the south east. And I'm not the like they were in faction. I don't know Nigeria every time we have this faction, political, political party, faction, church, faction, you know, so on and so forth. And that is what Lamps uh, portrays in this film, Sakaba, uh, uh, starring Sam Daly. I'm sure all of us uh, know him. Uh, Sam Daly is. Uh, it's a force to reckon with the star of the white people who have been for Columbus, the recent guy, one of his uh, lecturers, also, uh, two of the people, two of uh, the people, uh, uh, and Sibu, at least one of the, uh, my former students, Tom Jemansen, and the two of uh, John Kafko, the uh, GD Kashimano. Mm -hmm. Now, this was the party of that. And the interesting thing about this film is that it shows uh, the fantastic voice not in a negative perspective. And this is what Sandele has to say. I would say the Sakaba is my most popular movie. Although it was there and the actually was there. Sakaba has to me been the most popular. Even up to tomorrow, 
titular se eu faço o ministério, mas dar os pés para o sacado. A data de ser parte, o sacado, os filhos, very, very precise, and it was, you know, law by people. I think that is what brought about the death of Jesus. That is, you know, little children without the privilege of Jesus. Because it had an impact on the viewership of that. And one thing, I cited an instance to Sir David and Captain, the real Bakasi boys. And what happened? He said, ah, see this, what's his name again? They took me, they took me, they took me, they took me. They took me to their to uh, their master. He said, "Oh, you are hungry. You are trying to see you try the thing. You try it very well, and so on. And according to him, they told him a couple of things. But one thing I took out from that encounter: if the uh, last word had portrayed something bad about them, I would have been killed." And uh, Ann Roberts came to the, the, the hotel and I tried to visit him. The young apprentice Robert saw something. Uh, and said, Ah, 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 come on, see this moving actor. Let us take for the man. But the thing now, which adds 
the interest that people uh, indulge in, in Nigeria, uh, Nigeria for people carry. And the, the, the filmmaker, the director, is saying that we need to adopt the kind of politics. Our political culture should not be that do or die politics, but more that will accommodate each other. One that you can now go freely, and tomorrow, you know, everything will go on you know, very well. The action here you know, the film centers on the process. The primaries, actually, in the way leading to the primaries, when the two young politicians, you know, are, are, are trying to outwit each other. Even the feminist angle was not in. I hope uh, Professor Irish will uh, watch this thing, one of his days, because the women decided to uh, bring in the power of the woman. I hope you understand what uh, that is. One of my favorite dance of the break was going to close your legs, bam. <laughs> close your legs, bam. Close your legs, bam, 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 bam. nonsense. <laughs> now, now, if a woman closes her legs for a man, there is a problem. Because you know that the, the foreign artist has left the panel to the matter, and that is dangerous. I know that's one of uh, uh, my former students here, but in my head of philosophy, I say, when a man falls in love, the youth will be his mom. I know when, when the woman goes into the bedroom, my Allah has started, it will make you to answer the name you didn't want to answer. Like For example, the woman with your wife. And who is this idiot? You know, you are an idiot. Why do you know that? And why are you are calling me idiot? This day you are calling me, you are going to answer it. <laughs> and the forest goes to the journey. And after one day, two days, three days, four days, five days, the man, if a man will be a man, and that night you are not there on me. On the, and the next day, who is that idiot? <laughs> And 
Then another story, that those are six, but not for five minutes uh, uh, straight to my opponents. That is a problem in the, in the uh, industry which we are trying to, to uh, correct. Because one thing I mentioned all these things, you have to find them in the things of last Something that is very, very important. You can never, you can never find it in his uh, in his face. And in other words, he is being exemplary in his production to make sure that you know if he's telling the story, he's telling it very well. And I've concluded. By saying that Lancelot Master has carved a niche in Hollywood, and his name will always be written in gold. For us, for us, the name, the name, and the travels. You know, there are our students in the University of Morocco. They are called travels. So I am a rabbit, he is a rabbit, uh, Osa is a rabbit. For us as rabbits, Lancelot is representing us very well. Some people think them because they are gods on Marvel. And I have said that if we have 10 of uh, Lancelot's time, Nollywood is strategically debated. Then, Nollywood will not only be just the second to Hollywood in terms of production quantity, it will be second only to Hollywood in terms of production quality. <laughs> finally, finally, please you can look at that slide. Uh, last thought. Please go forward. Uh, I expect more feeling statements from you that will continue to be words on that. Hollywood is waiting to go and for you to make global statements. I wish you a very happy birthday. Coach, Good evening, everyone. Good afternoon. I am honored to be a speaker here at this um, amazing birthday celebration for such a phenomenal director. I hope you can you all hear me. If you can hear me, raise your hands. Can you all hear me? Okay, I'm very honored to be here to speak on behalf um, of Ambassador Lancelot. And I wanna say, first of all, I wish you the happiest birthday ever. And I'm so glad that you asked me to tell my story. First of all, I've enjoyed the speakers. Uh, and I wanna say that a lot of things that you said are true. Most of what you said are true. And I embrace what you, what you said. Uh, Lancelot is actually doing what I set out to do when I discovered the Nollywood film industry. And I want to tell you how I discovered the Nollywood film industry. 
First of all, I always hated American films. I just don't, I stopped watching movies completely because I hated them. The reason I hate them is because they do not reflect who black Americans truly are. They show us as idiots, riding, riding around in cars, banging a lot of music and ha we're having our pants, men's pants drop down. The women don't, and just, uh, things that are just not what we do. They never represent the culture that I grew up in. They never represent the families that I knew, the people that I knew. In fact, when I graduated from Mercer University, um, it was about 80% of the graduates were Black. Black Americans and about, I would say about 20% were Africans. And, but when they showed the film the next day on school to show the graduates, they only showed the white graduates. They only showed the Asian graduates, they did not show the black graduates. So that shows you the power of media. So the way I discovered the Nollywood film industry is that my, 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 my friends, every holiday we go over their homes so, to have Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner. This one particular Christmas, we went over there and after dinner, everybody was playing. Every, after dinner, she said, let's watch some films. And they was trying to go through the American movies that we watched. I don't watch, I don't know. I'm going to leave. I don't watch those movies. They said, well, wait, 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 wait. You might like these. And they put in, they took a, 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 a video and put in and turned on some Nigerian films. And they were, oh my God, we watched Nigerian films all night long. And I was so impressed and so amazed because these films represented the family and the people that I know, the, the, with the family values. The, it was just the characters were intelligent and beautiful, the, the kings, the queens. It was just family yeah. that I know. So I just couldn't stop. I became hooked. And so I asked, where did you get these films from? Oh, we get them from the beauty salon store, because a lot of women, we get our hair braided. Uh, and. Uh, they got them from the, the, the beauty salons. So I ran out to try to find me some. Of course, everybody's all sold out during the holiday season. But I can tell you that those films changed my life because after, while I was in undergraduate school, I was trying to decide, am I going to go to film school or am I going to go to law school? Um, because I want to do both. And so after falling in love with the Hollywood film industry, I decided I'm going to go to film school. So I signed up for Savannah College of Arts and Design, which is one of the top schools in the Eastern part of the United States. And I became, I connected with some people in uh, Nigeria and started working on some projects. And I just totally fell in love with, I watched, I just watched Nollywood films all day and all night. And it was just amazing because these films represented me and the people that I know. And it's, I said, okay, I saw some, some things in there. I said, well, I must be Nigerian because I always had identity crisis, never knew who I was and where I was from. Because when we were little, we would go to school and they would ask you, when you first day of school, they always ask you who you are and where you're from. And I could say Ohio or I, I would go home and ask my parents, where are we from? And they would say, uh, I don't know, Alabama. And I said, but no, before that, where are we from? And they would say they didn't know. And that was so devastating to me to not to know where I came when they're talking about they're from Germany, they're from uh, uh, Europe, they're from this and they're from that. And I didn't know where I was from. So I had identity crisis. Even when I started Savannah College of Arts and Designs, they did the same thing. And I said, I don't know where I'm from, but I know I'm African, but I'm gonna find out where I'm from. So I did my DNA. And I'm proud to say I'm Nigerian. <laughs> and I have connected with my family in Nigeria. And so finally, I know who I am. And I was inspired to do this by Nigerian films. And I want to say that I, I, I'm so proud of Lancelot because he's making the kind of films that I want to make, the kind of films that bring up the culture and not tear down, not tear us down. Our image is already distorted because a lot of, I see a lot of films that are duplicated from films that are made by white people that's supposed to represent African Americans and it don't represent us. I come from a, fa a family of, of very intelligent people, doctors, lawyers, uh, um, pastors, ministers, 
We have extended family. We take care of our elderly. We don't put them in nursing homes. We love and we like the extended family. Everything that I see in terms of value in, 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 in Nigerian films is what I see. What I see and is what we are. So I'm very happy to know that now I know where I'm from. I know who I am. And I, I thank you, I thank you film industry, like Nollywood film industry for bringing the, your films forth, even though you may not have had the support of the West or anywhere else. You got support of a lot of black Americans who love you and we love your films. And we know that some, there are some problems, but that's okay, we don't care. The stories are phenomenal and the stories reflect who we truly are, who we really are. And we're so much like you, the educated Africans, the ones who have high values and high standards, okay? So what you see when you duplicate those films that are made by white people who, who use black actors to emulate us in a negative way, that's not the true African-Americans that you think we are, okay? So I, just, I, want, I want to be a part of this crusade that Lancelot has to really bring dignity to black people all over the world. So I, I just want to thank you for what you're doing. I want you to continue the process. And I love the quality that you're bringing. I love what the professor Irene said about how to structure a proper film. I, I love what the professor, uh, Professor Barclay Bar 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 said about um, films that are copied and just duplicated, but they're the same story. That's what Americans do. They copy the same old bang, bang, shoot them up film. They just change the name, change the character, but it's the same story. So what I loved about Nollywood films there, everyone is different. Most of the ones that I've seen, they're, they're different I, I, and I love it. So thank you so much for having me. I look forward to joining you in the Nollywood film industry. I would love to be a part of your productions and I want you all to be a part of what we're doing to promote through the, the companies that he mentioned, uh, we're bringing attention, more attention to the Nollywood film industry for those who need marketing. I just want you to know that we want to promote your work and we want to embrace you and we want you to continue telling your stories because we love them. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I can't hear. I should talk about the concept of the fleet. 
Then we now went to the meeting of plans of the pastor's work. And in the simple statement, the defense and plans of work were deeply rooted in our culture. As it does not know, he decided to illustrate this with five key things. Secondly, talking about security, master school. Great students of the University of 
Permit me to recognize a distinguished notable actor, Lothar Lex. He's here also with another valuable actor, Diamond Okech. I'm also pleased to recognize Iyo Bosa and Naive Osiko. Then we have Director Amen in Master. <laughs> and the Master is going to be the second uh, Ambassador Last of the Master. I'm also pleased to recognize Director Jeremiah from the DGM. <laughs> we also have Inno Moses Jonah. Public Relations Officer, Association of Old Recruiters. Then we have Easy Quest of Kumba, Bollywood Filmmaker, which is our production. Society Grace, Bollywood Actor. Honorable Dorothy, Bollywood Actor. Ambassador M. Joe, Love Best Okie, Benson Imaswe, Senior Imaswe. Stanley at one time, Oche Abu, National Secretary, Director of Nigeria, Perekene Odom, that's a PRO, or at the level of property capital there, and then he's Glenda Devi, Mary Iris, Madam Doctor, Jennifer Ikwenobe, Madam Doctor, Conrad Matthew, the Democrat. Not a good actor, Robert Elvis, not a good actor, a Robert Sir, a young music producer, a man TV of Bowen, not a good actor, Nicholas Maxwell, not a good filmmaker, Stephen E.K. Chukoma, not a good actor, and also George Victor, not a good filmmaker. All of them have come. To honor their own. All of them have come to honor their own at such a time like this. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as we continue this program, it is my singular honor. To invite the representative of the deputy governor of the state, Honorable Sibiri Mugishi, Mamelos, to give us a good message from His Excellency, the deputy governor of the state, Comrade Vice Honorable Comrade Philip Schweiger. On the already well established project. Well, uh, before I go into my speech, I want to quickly mm -hmm. seek your permission to quickly uh, allow myself in the position of uh, the first speaker, Professor, our sister, Eric, particularly where he talked about uh, the Tenga Impact. As you can see, I'm a man, but I want to in totality allow myself to have that this day, not only that the narrative is changing, it has changed completely. That female children now must prefer, I don't want to prefer that the lady. Female children want to go correct. I have four boys, but just to take the right person. In my own family, when I say my family, father, 
order and consider. My father had many children and few female children. But as I speak to you now, by the special gift of God, I am one of the bread union owners in the family. My father is not in your house, my mother is not in your house. Most of my elder parts are not in your house. The people that dominate my house, my wife, the mother, the brothers, the sisters. Is that we the male we focus more on our wife and children? It is occasionally that we have a mother to reach out to them, but not as much as we reach out to our wives and So, going back to the fact that the male is the children and doing well. I will go on one day and go and go to school. But if you say, I want my children to remember who I have a daddy that needs an adequate care, she's the one that will take care of you. Other will focus on their wife and the children. So that's what we are trying to do with my children. I am actually here to represent my boss. His Excellency, the Deputy Governor, Right on the coming finish. I do know. Well, yes, we don't know. His Excellency is a very good friend of Ambassador Lasso. Their relationship as friends has put on into being brothers. Though they are not from the same family, but they refer to themselves as brothers. So they put this in common. So I am here to speak on his behalf. Not to say that the government of Edo State is in, is in the same house. And it is stronger and under the making Edo State, Edo, making it Edo, Edo really gain matter. I don't want that the university of the education of the city state to see her and becoming better at this class of educational challenge. It gladdens my heart as a representative of the SLS, the deputy governor of the state, and of all the people of the city. In fact, we did pay the people and the debt for the first last of the people in the master, the local election taking place here. As the Minister of the Bukhara, and do it. To pass the first version of my so called screen director, producer, screenwriter, who is also the multi award winner in the entertainment industry. On behalf of the Governor of Edo State, and of course the person I come to present here today, His Excellency, the Deputy Governor of the State. And the good people of Edo State, I will have a name for men intelligence, who is our endorsed from for carving and this for himself in the entertainment industry, particularly in Nollywood, which has a no measure, no small measure of greater employment and boost the GDP of our dear country, apart from boosting our community before the poverty of nations. The main object of this group. We try to solve some problems, working on national challenges, particularly our dear adult kids, further reflect the personal attributes of our industrial form, who is the center in promoting the unity and welfare of Nigeria, and adult kids in particular, through the production of the of the five pay for entertainment, create jobs while also serving as interactivity method in the, the enhancement of our mental health. In this state of our country, where Nigeria is in state of evil and Nigeria totally is holy. Without missing words, I wish to thank all those who have made this qualified success, as it is going to serve as a leader of our wisdom and knowledge in the near future. While we join hands together to help us, try to sustain it in our collective guests of Nikki and Do, stay today. The data provided by the National Film and 
video sensors. Sensors go. The National Bureau of Statistics has released its weekly report on knowledge of the production. Given that the sector's performance is strongly tied to consumer competition, threats within the industry can be regarded as a sign of the future of private consumption. The Nigeria film industry is the largest in Africa in terms of value, number of annual fees, with revenue and popularity. It is also the second largest film to do that globally. The success of the industry is really partly on the development of cinemas and multiple distributions of film. This is where our local force has won credit as a board member and as a sitting of the award winning filmmaker. We can complete track record, and there is every day celebrated for the best contribution to the development of our products. This event is indeed going to be very divided and innovation, as the team for this to look at cultural development through the street speaks about very contemporary but potentially the other term, which in our collective team we must ensure that we meet the ground with the view of tackling the in relation to my idea to the unity and growth of Nigeria as a product and that way, and in the last few days, speaking about my own poster, that is the He served as the president of the Nigeria Association, National Association of Nigeria Students, where he, he worked in a very strong cohesion with other great companies from all the Chinese countries, particularly to the military era. And this gives me the recent of the unforgettable Ali Bongo. And also, he is also opportune to serve as a member of the House of Representatives, proud to him to come to the Deputy Governor of the District of the Chief Person, the entire community of the more united and indivisible Nigeria, and not united African Republic. And this accounts for why we should keep time to come. At this time, we have to do as of the two years in the world, and I did very well. Irrespective of our class, our students are in Nigeria, particularly the people who are produced, our collective course of conduct should be driven by the target of achieving equity, justice, and harmony in Nigeria, which is the data and the data. Regardless of our political affiliations and labels, we do need in the daily educative aid program and by contributing our individual support. We have begun the journey of creating a good investment in the as you as you effectively keep it with your university application and promise to make a great deal. Once again, I wish to on behalf of my board, the deputy governor of the state, and the good people of the industry. Congratulate my father and our and our enterprising London from the region on the picture of the sister Benny. God bless the country and God bless the country. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Permit me to recognize Mr. Famous of that Norway, the President, Nonibus Football Club, and Chief of Staff to the DGL. The president of the 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 Yes, speakers and the celebrants. Two. No, two more side. So mark the improvement and participation in today's colloquial uh, celebration of the 15th birthday of Akasa. <laughs> This is from the Union of the City of the Union of the City of the City of the City of the City of the
Our very distinguished gentlemen, it's now time for us to get into one of the hallmarks of today. So we're not stop to respond. Actually, we want to flag off the master class of the university in the department of Israelis. I will confront the management of the university. The very first three master class lectures that will be given to the department of Israelis to the national presentation will be by Professor Harry. Professor Beckins and Brent Dan. Next, we are going to sign an official letter with the director's views of the Nigerian. And in collaboration with the college, and the department who want to have your roster of the master class presenters and where you want them to be the university will provide facilities and logistics for this person. And we will be completed into our credit hours. Beyond that, we shall also be expecting certification of senior programs, either in speech writing or film production or drama. These are the things. To ask the man of today's birthday celebration of the pastor, another milestone in the annals of his history is the flag of the master class of the Zedera Department of the Media University. I really don't have shot of Wow. You are looking at shot. And this for the road. Okay. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 
that have an opportunity to do what you do. For the first time, you never saw tomorrow at the age of uh, If you let them, university has done something really special and really unique. They are the first to affiliate with authentic knowledge. <laughs> I know you did that. We chose a very credible partner in Ambassador uh, Lancelot to provide mastery. And I want to quickly change this thing because I might forget it. So, thank you for that. That's a great position, but I think not very long from now, an honorary doctorate will not help. That's right. I don't know why you're going to do it while all of us are still alive. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, we are happy to be associated with this university and to partner with you in the Northwood Masterclass. For your information, we have not less than, I think, between eight to ten professors who are members of this year. One of them is here with us, one of the distinguished speakers of this occasion. Uh, Professor Bartlett Sayakoro, uh, he's a member of this year. We have not less than eight doctor uh, holders in field, not just, you know, just doctor holders. Uh, we have a lot more. And so we have huge resource to tap on. And permit me to say, authentic resource uh, you know, to tap on for the Northwood Massacre. In addition to that, uh, we recently changed our motto from what it was to what we now, we now say practice into Paris, which is first among the world. Now, the reason for that is that the creative head of any, any production in, in, in film is that it's his vision. Everything starts and revolves around me. What you see in your mind is what you see on the screen. And which is why every film is a director's signature. And that's why it's called a director's film. And what that simply means is that by your partnership with DGM, you can be sure that your students will not only, we talk about mentoring, uh, uh, so I mean big reference to mentoring, you will not, will not only be coming to big lectures here. But we will, as a matter of duty, be mentoring the students. We will not only be mentoring them, uh, we will be having student membership so that from here they can migrate, I mean, evolve into practicing director. Also, and this is very important to us. Um, when I was coming as DJ president, it was important for me that we have a marriage between Cam and Cam. And one of the programs we initiated, which we will be implementing, is um, our annual you know, uh, DJ academic conference. Now, this conference is to present an opportunity for our academics. And thank God for what uh, Professor uh, Bartlett uh, Elkery said here when he talked about. You know, it's still a book, being one of the uh, it is most authentic narrative about knowledge to the world. Now, the reason for this conference is that too many people, and I have to show you the journey of this world I've read, many have gone to the titles and all that, telling our story, well, the fact that the pioneers are still alive. Now, I better have said, you cannot shake the man behind the back. You cannot tell my story why I'm still alive. Now, that is the mistake we made when the white man discovered it by Niger that has already existed there for all these years. The white man will not come and discover our Niger. Our people will tell the story. Now, that annual academic conference will afford us an opportunity to tell the authentic modern story. In addition to that, we plan to publish, to publish it and get an authentic publication that will widely affect the world so that our academics can advance in their career as well. When we have a publication 
that is acceptable and offensive publication for film, both in Nigeria and Africa, that is accepted globally. Now, that presents a platform for our people where they can express themselves and tell our story. Now, I've said this so much already, but I want to thank you so much. And uh, in addition to whatever you have given to me, I come. There is no greater honor than the honor that comes from home. We recognize our own, and uh, we want to especially give this presentation to Ambassador Lanza to my hand. In recognition of the as a co founder, many of you know me, was one of the six angry young men, as we say, that founded the Director Theater of Nigeria. So it's a co founder. Point. It is my singular honor to invite the celebrant of today, the living legend, Ambassador Odua Master, to give his response. Mr. Master, my questions are members of the top echelon management of the great media university. I'll try to be a gentleman today. Uh, yesterday, it was best a dream. But today, it's very serving and being straight. Indeed. What an honor. Indeed, what an honor. From, from the 1st of June, it will be one activity or the other. And I took all the care to this that my visit to the age, given the much that I come to the institution and sent it to them, actually, they first came. But as a result of this, what we offer us are two different offerings to be in. Everyone that in this most important program, because it might be the first time in my life that these great admissions will be gathered just for the sake of. Of this young man from Borosa village in the Mudet Uh Now, some my friend and sister, they call from the village man. If a village man born in Borosa village came 
that why you are this greatness around him. I think all the young men and women here should put on to face and believe that if it can happen for last of to last of it can also happen. I stand today to say that hope. Maybe not in the end, but in the end, that makes up perfectly what God has done to them. That the Nigerian youths are not lazy, they are industrious, they are strong, and they have a lot of strength and creativity. I stand here to say, as I do for myself, then my vice chancellor, my father, the first one actually made his pronouncement that Pastor was very difficult. It didn't make sense to be there. I insisted, and from that time to this moment, they are always referred to me as a living legend. Want to defend the entire investment management. That have become like a family to me. I appreciate the Lord and I'm happy that you have resonated so much for me to continue to do that we God has called me to do. Using this mentality of motion picture to change our world. I want to thank you, sir, for the promise a platform that you have created for the world to know the world. Maybe one of the people who wanted to derogate, no, but like the belief you say, the Minawana or Pado, that's what we say. I want to find every person that is here today that are coming to honor me, that are humbled by this. Please sustain and keep me in your prayers. I want to find the two academic giants. Madam, I travel all the way from Jos. She had no direct flight from Jos to TV. With me, she flew first to somewhere, and from somewhere, she came to me. Mama had brought me on board to the second year, where she learned from a new man. Like she said, I knew this young when I told her I was going to finish. She shouted, I knew this young, I said, Mama, that's why I reached. <laughs> Thank you, Mama, this morning. This is God demonstrated. I've always been a lecturer and a friend. Sometimes he gives fire that very huge mess with which we look at academics, we play to us, eat to us, and those kind of things. So, this demonstration, not just calling me the first time we go to school. It has put me before the last train. Say, my lecturer is interviewing me, want to use my work to write a book. Sir, this demonstration began to be as again elevated me to say, I will stop. I will continue to do you and your colleagues that you told me. I will continue to do all that. All my students that are here. All the members of the house. Thank you so much for believing. Those that have been I'll stay on with us. Thank you so much. I want to recognize special my eldest brother, who is to be my father. I'm sure you're proud. Of your king, brother. I want to support my young brother, my kid brother. I have my son, but I have my kid brother. My kid brother. All this time, I have my kid brother. She's not in work. I'm the master. Thank you for what I want to say, they was what I'm proud of. I don't know why I'm so 
solutions to that. So this one was who oh, have some levels when I come to levels. Thank you so much 
for the Lord. Thank you for discovering your roots through this mentality of knowing you. We love you here. We pray for your health. We we'll see you soon in Nigeria and we we'll see the Great University of Okada. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>
people saw the artwork they were taking. And the person called me and said, Ah, ah, a whole university that celebrated Lancelot. How can a whole university celebrate Lancelot? Who has said, Is that how you go on to debate everybody? And I said, Lancelot, the people's governor, is not everybody. If you are happy to do this, much less The master class that we don't today in itself is a master class. Master is that's a different part. So what to thank you for that initiative? Just because what I want to be seen also. Because it is like sit down and do it. So some of these things, when he was talking about them, we are only one thing. Where would this be But that one today, you have been something you need and something new. And I'm sure that this will go far. So this is how I want to say thank you as a university. We also want to thank the representative of the government, the government. Thank you for your time with us. It is due to us that you came all the way to honor us, honor our own. The speaker, Professor Irene, when she was talking about the LDM and all of that, because she spoke passionately from the perspective of the woman. What she came to say, I wish she was a man. And the environment. Because sometimes when we speak for women, they say, ah, you are not the women who want to save yourself. But when a man speaks for us, then we know this is reality. What she has said is not too short of reality. I also want to thank Professor Bartlett. You know, he spoke on culture. I think when he was speaking, I was saying to myself, some person from Kenya and said, You have a diversity of person. Yes. I was now saying, That is my own, that is my own identity. And I also define myself in my person. There are some persons you will see from afar without even seeing the face. When you see that person, that is that person. What is your own identity? So I want to thank you for giving us for giving that to us. I want to thank so I won't thank the second because you still seem to beg this song. Without a beg this song, there's no beg this that you should stand out. So you don't know what to say to beg this song. It's unfortunate that the wife is not here, she has to catch it right. But in every man, in every married man, the wife is still there. Is that not? So I believe that your wife is with you. I want to thank the people of the South of the University for all being so great in preparation, putting things together. I want to thank the provosts and directors. These are very, very good. People. Yesterday we were here, and tomorrow we will be here. So I want to thank you, but we're going to take it for light. That when you must have an activity, you always come out to identify. The purpose, the dreams, and the directors are like the visits of the animals. So we appreciate your presence here. We also appreciate. The presence of all members of staff and our students. Mm -hmm. And then to add, we don't take for light that we have the lights of rest here. These are very I'll let you do a selfie <laughs> to know that you keep to each other. And then I saw what all of you said on the other fellow. Sorry, I cannot 
in association with the American Embassy in Nigeria. By the way, the DCT window on America is a platform for culture, integration, and the youth empowerment. Thank you. Just to put the city distinguished guest lecturer, uh, as brought to my notice that there are some books that are available for me. This is a dance on his grave, which is a play, a matter of honor, which is also a play, theater management in Nigeria, it's a book. And uh, also the Nigeria Theatre Journal volumes 20.1 and 20.2. They are all they are all authored by Professor Patrick Egaram. So at our request, students, ladies and gentlemen, at this point, we have request that we will stand for closing prayer as a surprise.